How go the repairs? Going offline kept Penguin from finding the Batcave. But it also scrambled our system. The Bat computer barely runs, and worse, most of my tech isn't working. It's going to take time to get everything up and running again. If it gets running again, it's going to make tracking down Lady Arkham a hell of a lot harder. You've proven that you don't need armor or gadgets to help this city. In the end, Bruce Wayne was the one to stop Penguin. Right. Bruce, these last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. D not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down, even those whom you admire. Not everyone is like my father or Oswald. And what Harvey became, it wasn't by choice. And me. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her... If I'd stopped Thomas... None of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald, even Harvey. Whose fault it is doesn't matter, Alfred. What does is that we stop them. You're right, sir. The children of Arkham are still out there, and Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Damn it. Still offline. I need to get this working again. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not... unless... Hold on. What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here, and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 what's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? No surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. 
<laughs> Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in sociology. And my medical records. There are some, well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Ah, oh, that's better. <laughs> oh, Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. Oswald was... <laughs> Was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it Falcone Island. Hmm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. Of course. Why is Rick is still there, though? Vicky Vale, mid thirties, reporter for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record. Her true name. Victoria Arkham. Arkham. To think she was here in the manor. She gave nothing away of her true nature then. Oh. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. The Gazette's records of the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. Oh, did I miss something? I miss. Damn it. I can't access the news feed. I need to get this working again. There's something I'm gonna look like in. Missing something then. The records. That's not done. How Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer oh, should be go. able to. There. No more holes. Since that I done it. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. 
all to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Bruce, you there? It's urgent. One of the bat prototypes has been stolen. By Lady Arkham? Not quite. I'm patching you the feed now. She stole from you? After we opened our doors to her? After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? She must have her reasons. Well, I'm sure she does. The device she stole. It's a prototype. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it... Could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands, especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. I'm going to get some answers from Selena. expecting you thought I'd make it outside the city limits at least if you wanted to see me you could have just called <laughs> the chase is so much more fun but I know you're not here for me are you I don't blame you for wanting it back <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this no doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. That device is far too dangerous to be out in the world. If Lady Arkham got a hold of it, that blood would be on your hands. Wow. That's pretty dramatic, Bruce. Catch. You might be exaggerating, but I'd rather not take the chance. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. I was always going to steal from Bruce Wayne. I just never expected he'd be so interesting. So it was all just an act. Everything we've done together. A lie. That's how it started. And now it's over. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire. And I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but... But think of the fun. Someday, yeah. Maybe I will be able to leave Gotham. But for now, I am the only one who can save this city. So humble. You thought I could 
Oh, because of the It'll baby. be good to put some distance between us. Nah, After man. all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. I can see it. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. You and I may disagree on a lot of things, but I'm not worried about you. You're that sure? Bruce, I... I think I finally get what this is all about. You're upset that I'm leaving. What'd you think? That one night of sex meant we were going steady. Is that what you really thought? Well, maybe it meant nothing to you, but what happened between us meant something to me. Oh, Bruce. Didn't know you were the sensitive type. Just stop the show, Selena. Stop pretending nothing matters. <sighs> Look, Bruce. I'll admit that what you and I had... It wasn't terrible. But you were just another job. A more... Intriguing job than I was expecting. burn But still a job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. That's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? Because I love you, Selena. You... You barely know me. Bruce, if that's your idea of love, I feel sorry for you. Well, get out of here. There's one good thing to come out of this. Now I know I was right. You really are just like everyone else. Can't wait to get out of this place. I'll see you around. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? Alfred! Oh, snap. Alfred! Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? What happened to you, Al? <clears throat> A scuff mark. What could have caused this? I know. Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. Ash everywhere. What did they do to you, Alfred? Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. No, I uh, like, like no punk. Death mark. And I keep walking over here. 
fire poker. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity. Good talk, Dan. Good talk. How you been reclaimed? I haven't seen you in a minute. This pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. On Alfred or did Alfred do? How the hell? Get up there. Alfred mm. grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. <laughs> But it was knocked away. How logical of that to happen, though? Let's be honest. How logical could that happen? How hard would Alfred to? How hard would Alfred need to throw that thing to stick into that wall after being deflected? How? Alfred is old. There's no way he threw it that hard where when it was deflected it got even more speed it knocked up and into that wall <clears throat> Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon broke it across his attacker's head <laughs> that didn't stop him he used the jagged end to stab him spraying blood across the pool table I take that back. Alfred probably threw it that hard. <laughs> if you straight up stab that guy like that. Holy cow. I can't. I don't think that's right. Lady no. Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her stab to try and stop Alfred. I, don't know. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred must be Solomon Alfred Grandy. barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor, used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. <laughs> Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. Word reckoning. You have no idea. Somebody's pissed. <laughs> 